Hey guys, so today we are going to be making a healthy homemade eggnog and it is going to be a non-alcoholic eggnog because I'm not really a fan of alcoholic eggnog anyway. So I made an eggnog recipe the other day um, just in a blender and it was really good but it was kind of just a nutmeg flavored milk. It wasn't really thick like a normal store-bought eggnog would be. So today I'm going to be trying to make the same recipe but putting it on the stove and then kind of making it like you would a custard, just not that thick. In this cup I have two cups of milk and one cup of heavy cream and I'm just going to put it in like a small saucepan. Now we're going to put a quarter cup of maple syrup, half teaspoon of nutmeg. Then you just want to stir that all together. Now we're going to separate three eggs. So I'm going to put the yolks in this bowl and the whites in this bowl. And when you're doing this, you have to make sure that you don't get any of the yolks in the whites. So when you're making a custard, you put egg yolks and sugar together and then you whisk it up um, to dissolve the sugar and make everything light and pale and fluffy. Um, but I'm not adding sugar to the egg yolks this time. So I feel like that might not be necessary to whisk it so much. I think you just kind of want to dissolve the egg yolks. Now we're just going to warm up the milk mixture on medium heat while stirring the whole time to make sure that the milk doesn't burn. So I just tasted the milk mixture and I think it needs to be a little bit more sweet. So I'm going to add probably like a tablespoon or two of maple syrup. You also don't want to boil your milk. You just want to warm it up until it starts to steam a little bit and maybe get a little bit bubbles on the side. Um, but you pretty much just want to make sure it's warm. And then from there, you can put it in your egg mixture and slowly get the egg mixture up to temperature. You want to do this gradually because you don't want to cook your eggs right away and then it will be like scrambled eggs in your milk. So now the mixture is probably warm enough that you can just add the whole thing back in there. Pour this mixture in there while whisking just to make sure. Now we're going to put this back on the stove until it just gets a little bit thick thick enough to coat the back of a wooden spoon. So now you do want to bring it to a boil um, so it gets the chance to thicken up a bit. This is what you're looking for. So I put my egg whites in a blender cup and now I'm just going to use the immersion blender and see if this works. Okay, this isn't working very well, so I'm just going to blend it in the blender and see if that works better. Alright, so this is as frothy as I could get it. Looks pretty cool. My daughter woke up, so she's gonna try this with us. That look good. Oh, don't drink it yet, okay? Now we're gonna add the egg whites to it. Let's try this homemade eggnog. Mmm. That is really good. I don't know if you normally drink eggnog warm though, but that's really good. So if you like eggnog, you definitely want to try this out. And if you guys want to try a homemade hot chocolate recipe, then you can click right here. And I hope you guys enjoy these warm holiday drinks. Let me know what other kind of recipes you guys want me to make for you guys. Have a great day.